What's going on, people? It's your boy JS, straight out of London, representing the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Yeshua. Um, the, the new Project 7 is totally different to my first project entitled Genesis Snapshots. Like when I first made Genesis Snapshots, that's when I first became a Christian, so my approach to the music was totally different. Um, musically, I was just looking for beats um, so I can rap over it and express my message. But with this second project, I had more thought behind it in terms of the sonics and you know how I wanted it to sound and the hooks. I wanted them to be a lot more catchy and I wanted it to appeal, appeal to a wider audience in terms of how I communicated the message. Like, so for example, my first project, I would be very like dogmatic and out there with, you know, the gospel message and, you know, Jesus saves or you're going to hell, you know, if you don't believe kind of thing. And as you grow, you tend to not change that message, but the way you deliver it is a lot more different. So because of my experience, I said to myself, okay, for this next project, I'm going to deliver that same salvific message in my new music, but in a way where people can relate to it, where it's a bit more practical. So I have songs that relate to everyday life situations. So I made sure that the music accompanied that message rather than just getting a beat from somewhere and then rapping over it. So that was my my strategy with this new album, Seven. Well, at, at the start, writing Seven, I didn't really have a concept in mind for the album. I was just making songs and writing songs for, for where I was at in my walk and um, how I chose to convey that message in the music. As time went on, I started gathering different songs that I had written and I put them together and I was like, oh, okay, well, this seems to all fit together. The songs that I've, I've made, they all seem to kind of convey the same sort of message or the same sort of, I don't know how, how to explain it, sort of a way to reach people. So how I did that particular album, Seven, wasn't planned or anything, it just came together, you know, and it, it fit perfect. But I would say that Seven, the reason why it's called Seven, is because Seven represents completion and perfection in the Bible. And this happens to be my seventh project. And I believe it's my most complete project to date. So, you know, it, everything fit in perfectly with this project. I don't know if that makes sense, but that'll make sense. 